Hey everyone, good morning. It's Mary Ann at Akashic Inspirations. And today is Thursday, October 25th, 2012. My, 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 we're getting close to December, aren't we? Um, but first, a few things. Um, I got a couple announcements and then I'm going to go into um, something that the records gave to me this morning and then kind of do a live reading with you. So, uh, first of all, full moon conference. Um, well, uh, remember I'll be doing my giveaways, the two sets of runes um, on the, um, I'll just show you one, um, on my little beautiful blue crystals that everybody loves. We're going to be doing that. I'll be giving away uh, two readings. Um, you have your choice of a spiral ladder or a quantum leap spread. And um, the last prize is, of course, the one half hour live reading with me via Skype. So, please, what I have asked for is either VR or a comment. You can leave comments um, either on my Facebook or um, in my inbox or on my videos as to what is your heart's desire? What is it that you are being led to uh, be creative about? Um, could be anything, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, reform your relationships, uh, uh, find a soulmate, uh, create a new business. Uh, or just change your perception of the way you deal with things. Um, whatever it is, let me know. And that way I'll enter you into the raffle. Uh, second thing is, in November, we will be starting the Red 10 series. I don't have a specific date just yet because I'm still getting our, our players together. But basically, it will be a series of empowering um, conferences um, and uh, uh, talks. And we will choose a subject that is kind of um, something that everybody needs to know. You know, we're going to be an open forum for discussion. Um, and we'll have experts in the field of life coaching, uh, perhaps some sound healing. I'm working on that. Um, we're going to have uh, Lydia at Goddess Divine, Glammy Witch, and myself. And that will be starting in November. Glammy's also reading, actually, from the book, The Red Tent uh, series. So check out her website to um, listen to her reading the book for us. Um, and the last thing I wanted to mention is that I have made, you know, some changes on my website to include an Akashic Records class. And in this class, the objectives are is to, to teach you the, stru the st structure and the steps of how to read your own records. Sorry, I'm kind of like this today. It's kind of a gray day in Miami, so um, kind of a profound influence is going on. Um, yesterday, uh, I posted my blog this morning uh, or last night, and um, I was led to talk about all of this that we've been seeing about twin flames, soulmates. Remember, your soulmate doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner, but it could be um, just someone that you know um, that you just click with. Um, that that person, you just know them intimately, you know about uh, their past lives, you you understand who they are. And I've had a really special uh, uh, treat this week of, of finding someone that I believe is is one of my soul mates, uh, you know, along the travels. And you know who you are, Stasha, I love you. <laughs> I'm so thrilled um, that we've found this friendship. It's amazing. Anyway, um, so today I went into my records, and um, this is what the records gave to me. It says that this week is about awareness in our relationships, and that the awareness that there are soulmates that are now coming into our lives. Um, through all of these changes, now we're kind of going into this relationship thing, but because of the full moon that's going to be coming up, they're really could be wonderful things happening, okay? Um, that through this awareness, we can also perceive our current relationships in a different light and maybe transform them to a new level. So if something kind of has been stagnant in a relationship that you've been in, um, there's ways of renewing that uh, relationship and taking it to a new level by having a different perception of it, uh, uh, addressing it in a different manner. Um, there's also, uh, reviewing these relationships to see if they really, really serve us. Um, and, or if it's something that we just, you know, we just need to release. Um, now that we have awareness, which gives us freedom to choose to make changes to strengthen our relationships or to have the strength to let them go. Uh, through faith, 
my little faith from the beginning of the week is still playing a big part. We are given hope that there is a soulmate out there for us. And I know that for me personally, that, that was a big aha moment because I truly, truly did not feel that in this life, my soulmate was going to be present because I do have one that is a guide. Um, and he told me he wasn't going to be in this life. So I kind of resigned myself to the fact that I wasn't going to get one. But recently and last week and with things that Stasha read to me uh, on her reading for me, it led me to understand that there is somebody else. And just the fact of a hope that there may be someone else has changed my perception, has opened me up. And that, and that having this chance, remote as it is, that there is somebody there, um, I think that's what opens our heart chakra. And that's what makes room for these people to come into our lives. Um, how and when? Well, that's up to divine grace, of course. And um, by... By allowing the possibility to be, um, it then allows it to manifest. Because if it's in the realm of possibilities, it can happen. Um, so I, uh, a quote came to mind, and I kind of had to look it up to see how it was worded. But it says, whatever the mind can conceive and be believe, it can achieve. And that's from Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, which is one of my favorite books, by the way. All right, so today I'm going to work with art through the eyes of the soul oracle. Kind of feeling a little esoteric today, so kind of deep. I want I want something, you know, this is the, now that we're going into our deeper meanings. So I've got out my, my Lemurian runes, and, um, and I just paired them up with different stones. I've got, um, for healing, I've got my amethyst. For the sun, I have my uh, citrine. Stability is the tiger eye. Energies and vibrations of love, of course, is the rose crystal. Clarity and knowledge is my clear crystal. And I just chose, I don't know why, but it came out to me, to choose that this astral travel, multidimensionality, speed of light, and speed of love uh, is represented to me by the turquoise. So let's, uh, we've got our cards here. Let's see. This is kind of sometimes hard to, you know, I usually like to let them fly out, but, oh, okay. This is one. Wow. Okay. There we go. So I'll turn these over so we can look at them together and see what they say. This is Shasta Shamanka. Move away from a difficult situation. All right, this is super interesting. She is in Mount Shasta, which we know is the the site uh, where the Lemurians are. And she's got her power wand right here. She's got her crystal. And she's looking this buck or this uh, deer straight in the eye, but she's her body is turned and she's moving away from it so she sees it she perceives it and she says no i'm not going to go there i'm walking away i'm going away from this because i choose not to have this in my reality so this is exactly what we were just talking about is seeing the situation for what it is and then being able to walk away from it. And um, I'll give you an expanded reading on this. What is it saying? Shasta. No, sorry. It says, use your intuition to recognize and repel negative people, destructive environments, and those who would dominate you. So you need to um, like it says, just walk away from the situation that you perceive as being negative. It's going to give you the strength to do that. And the next card we get is ha, transmutation and the return of, um, I hope I say this right, Tuatha Didanam. Purify your surroundings. Um, what I love about this is here we have her playing the harp. This really, uh, the two things that, uh, that really pull me in this card right now. Um, is this cauldron to allow things to do your spells for protection and um, to have music uh, 
soothing you, uh, protecting you, uh, guiding you. So do, do you know, this is this is Samhain, so this is the perfect time to do this, to do that cleansing that you've been wanting to do, redo your altar, do your Samhain altar, um, do a cleaning with sage. I'm getting uh, to do sage, to put your incense, light your candles, um, protect your space, um, cleanse your space. Um, and then that will allow you to... Change anything that's negative in your home into positive vibrations. Um, it says, raise the vibration of your immediate environment. Live in a sacred space. So definitely working with your sacred space. So this is kind of like um, really focusing on getting rid of these things in your relationship, in your home that no longer serve you. Letting go. This is the period of Samhain, which is a period of dying. Letting go before our full moon um, brings us into new things. Oh, my God. Uh, Stasha, Glastonbury goddess, accept the opportunity that is offered. Wow. I know this is for sure for me. Um, you've got the Glastonbury tour all the way in the back. She has her bowl. Um, I think it's a scrying bowl, to tell you the truth. This is how it's coming out to me. And how she's uh, being watched. And um, it seems to me that uh, she wants to, um, that she's going to be telling us what are the things that we need to uh, be looking forward to? It says, take on a worthy challenge, but pay close attention to details before making a commitment. Okay, so that's that's what I'm seeing. It's like she's scrying to be able to get an overall view. So using your intuition um, to see the situation, to see what the challenge is, and then being able to move forward. Um, and that's actually a lot of this um, new um, energies that we're coming into with uh, Pluto and Uranus um, for the next three years. And it's basically a push and pull. Uranus wants us to move forward. And Pluto wants us to be, which is in Capricorn, wants us to be cautious. So um, she's going to, this is also a symbol of the Grail Cup. And she's offering it to the spiritual warrior telling him, it's okay, take your quest. He's ready to go. He's got a spear in his hand. He has the the support of the tour. Um, it says his optimism is infectious and spreads a sense of goodwill and positive energy around him. So you are the spiritual warrior. Your mission um, is full of possibilities, but he must first learn self-discipline to pay attention and to be observant in strange surroundings. With a sense of boldness, he ventures out into the unknown with confidence of future success. Wow, really cool. Wow, very. Well, I wanted esoteric. I guess I got it. And um, <laughs> big message. Big message for me. I love it. <laughs> I, I think of Bella when she starts yet going, yay, the chariot, you know. So, <laughs> hello, Bella. Good morning. Loved your reading yesterday and, and your video. You looked so radiant. I told you, you looked so beautiful. All right, guys, so this is what's happening. Um, be sure to check out my blog. I did write a blog on soulmates and a little bit of faith. So you can check that out on my website. Also, you can sign up for my news feed so that it can get sent automatically to your um, email. And um, there's a lot of things happening, a lot of relationship changes, um, a lot of changes in your perception, which will give you the strength to be the spiritual warrior to, to move forward. So I'm sorry this video has gone a little long, but lots of things. So I wish you uh, many blessings today. Make sure you leave me your comments. I'm waiting. So I'm writing them all down so I can put your little papers in the bag and pull them out. All right, on the full moon. So I wish you many blessings, love and light. Namaste.